Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. Woo! I'm Josie K. And this is the spiritual advice reading for Gemini for the weekend of the 4th of July of 2020. Okay, we got cards jumping everywhere. Okay, so someone is thinking about bringing an end to a path of success before it all, before it even starts. The Ace of Swords of Victory is upside down, and then there's death. It's like, I don't even want to go here. So there needs to be a shift in perspective. I'm getting that right away for whichever Gemini this is, right? If we think negatively, negative things will transpire. If we think positively, many blessings will come. Because when we want to create something, if we're excited, we go and we get it done, right? But if we are fearful, then we block the progress, is a message for whichever Gemini I'm reading for during this general reading, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male, female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. All right, so right away, I'm getting Friday here, and this isn't how I was doing my other uh, videos, but uh, someone here is like wanting to go back to some form of commitment, partnership, or contract. Uh, know that Spirit's giving you the strength, the opportunity, the time to be able to communicate to your heart's desire. Wow. So somebody is not too interested in something because their mind is on someone or something else over the weekend. So let's take a closer look, shall we? This is the Game of Thrones tarot deck. And I'm going to do a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please show us the energies for this Gemini during the 4th of July weekend. Look at that. So Gemini, we have the Eight of Swords, okay? We have a Gemini here on Friday going into Saturday who's feeling stuck or trapped in some way. Know that the Eight of Swords represents a figment of your imagination. Now is the time to free yourself and start focusing on obtaining wisdom regarding your inner truth. You're supposed to be focusing on your skills and your talents is what Spirit is saying, but you're feeling trapped or stuck. And of course, when we think that way, we're going to remain that way. So there is a call for a shift in perspective over this weekend for this Gemini. It is time to get excited about this beautiful opportunity, this beautiful direction something that you are passionate about is has and is a gift from the universe gemini with the eight of spears or wands energies this is getting excited again about this new direction about these new ideas about what it is that you're passionate about this weekend focus on the passion you are not trapped or stuck right we can always leave and go into any direction we so choose but remember and I'm doing a Celtic spread, which wasn't. So I'm being really guided for you guys. Spirit is trying to guide you into this new direction, whereby some of you with this Empress energy in this card physically may be traveling into a new direction. Now, I'm feeling a few things here, Gemini. We have the Empress. Now, could be you're thinking of a mother figure, a girlfriend, a friend, uh, someone who is very spiritual. She is watching over you. She is praying for you. She knows of this new direction for you. And she is going to help for you and her thoughts to become unstuck so you can step into a path of success and excitement and passion. Yeah, in the recent past, you may have been thinking about someone who was older Someone who may have had air in their chart with the King of Swords energies. Someone who was clear about their goals and intentions and very quickly and swiftly cut away from others. You know, maybe you're coming into this weekend cold and closed off. Therefore, you're making yourself feel stuck or trapped. So Spirit's saying, give birth to this exciting new path that is a gift from the universe. Don't let yourself feel like you want to be somewhere else this weekend. Because look at on Saturday, the 4th of July, we have things happening very quickly. 
after some form of travel and forward movement. Ooh, in the actions position. We have the temperance angel as a major arcana. So this is about researching what it is you are creating with the empress energies. Researching the next chapter of your life as things are starting to move rather quickly. Some of you, like I said, are wanting to go back towards this feminine energy. Um, but you've got, you're being guided to research what is happening beautifully for you. Okay. To communicate, right? There's always... Thank goodness and ability to communicate with people if you are, for some reason, at a distance here with the eight of spears traveling into a new direction. Look at this. And when I said travel, we have the major arcana, the chariot. Okay, so spirit is here to help you in your inner strengths position, even though you don't know which direction you are headed towards, but to move into the path of success very quickly. So you are not trapped or stuck. It's time to give birth to this chapter in your life, I'm hearing, so that you can create a solid foundation and eventually create your own family or your own business because of what you are learning through others this weekend. Yeah. So in the hopes and fears position, we have the Ten of Swords. Are you hoping or are you fearing that a long and difficult path is over? Are you hoping that you can quickly go away from something and back towards someone. I think uh, this Gemini is confused this weekend about where they want to go next or if this is truly opening up for them. But the past and the difficulty and the anger and the pain of the past, it is falling away with the Ten of Swords. So have hope that a path of the past ways and circumstances that made you feel stuck, that's what's dissipating. Do not fear this forward movement into success. But instead, look at this. Spirit's offering you another major arcana in the form of the hanged man. So Gemini, this is about, again, on Saturday, moving excitedly into a path of success because of traveling, because of what you're hearing about regarding an exciting new beginning. An old path has uh, dissipated, and now it's time to give birth to uh, planning success. And Spirit is saying, um, that's why we're going to give you the hanged man energies. We're going to kind of hold you up for a minute and help for you to get excited again about what it is you want to see come manifest in your life. Wow, interesting weekend for Gemini. Now, in a three-card spread to my left with the same Game of Thrones deck. We've got the first couple cards here representing Friday, the third going into the 4th of July of 2020. We have uh, a Gemini who is being blessed with the High Priestess. Look, at we got the Empress and the High Priestess. A mother, a grandmother, a girl and a mother. Um, or this is you. Manifesting, getting to the truth of why do I feel unfulfilled? Why am I clinging to finances? Why am I sad and depressed when the high priestess is trying to help guide me to the answers? I need to trust as I wait over this weekend, as I shift my perspective towards the information I am receiving. I can come out of the five of spears energies of anger and frustration and instead with the two of cups energies. Look at an offer, idea, project, or two. For that's what spirit wants you to take time to work on. Why? Because the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, Gemini. And you're going to start to recognize this probably on Sunday that you're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel with the ten of coins energy. That your time and effort has brought you to a path of abundance. But it's like you're still missing someone. Ten of cups. Celebration. Saturday. Fourth of July. See, feeling with the Nine of Swords energies, like you can't sleep at night because you feel a commitment partnership contract uh, is very balanced. Ooh. Somebody here is fearing that somebody is not going to give them the money that they promised. But again, Spirit saying, we're giving you the lover energies. To get passionate, right? That you're in your element. Passionate about opening your heart to the way things are happening. Some of you may be very passionate Saturday about news that comes unexpectedly regarding 
an older water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And you start to shine like the sun. Feel like a kid again because you or someone else receives a lot of attention and recognition with the Six of Wands. But there's a devil energy here. And that's also what's slowing this Gemini down from getting clear with themselves. They're looking for their ship. You know, they're putting effort in or they need to put effort in. Maybe they aren't wanting this Gemini doesn't want to put the effort in. But Spirit's saying push beyond temptations. Um, push beyond worries about those who may be dealing with an addiction. But instead, create exciting goals and a foundation for yourself look at that with the eight of cups you're already ready to walk away because you're not accepting or wanting an offer yeah you're trying to find clarity about maybe someone who has air in her chart libra aquarius or gemini or uh, somebody hears from i'm feeling like a grandparent or parent situation some clarity from someone who has pisces in their chart with the moon and maybe uh, a libra Yes, looking at a brand new path with the Ace of Coins showing up on Saturday, but with the Nine of Spears ready to lay down that path before it even starts. So Spirit is trying to say it's time for a new chapter. So continue to put your time and effort in with the Three of Coins energies and know that this will bring you a more solid foundation. Spirit's giving you the strength to recognize with the world energies that something has gone full circle. And you are now to be moving into stability. So by Sunday, we do have someone who's saying, yeah, I, you know, I learned something. Um, I'm feeling very stable and secure and grown in the way of what's transpiring in the area of success. You're wanting to communicate with someone tied to your past uh, or that you dealt with before the 4th of July. Yeah. So there's a lot of deep thought here and heartache because you want to maybe connect with this person. But here comes the money you've been waiting for, the victory that you've been waiting for, the passion that Spirit's been talking about. Somebody's going to come towards you with the Knight of Spears energies, and you're going to be laying down an area of home or family, recognizing it is time to move into a new chapter, laying down connection with someone who may have Sagittarius in their chart being represented by the Temperance Angels. A shocking realization and communication that eventually your wishes are coming true and that's what spirit's saying wait wait for communication some of you may be communicating with someone at a distance uh, over the weekend and um, there are kind words and messages i think you're starting to hope wish and pray that this will be a successful new chapter with someone but there's a lot going on here there's a lot of passion in your mind. So put that passionate energy into words, into art, into a project that will ground you during this moment of the hanged man energies, a moment of pause. All right, so I'm going to bring in the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti for clarification for this Gemini over the 4th of July weekend. Why are they feeling stuck or trapped with the Eight of Swords energies? What's making this Gemini feel stuck or trapped? Stability and security with the anchor. So beautiful. Gemini, the anchor is showing up. Um, you are not stuck or trapped. Spirit's trying to give you stability and security in your life. Yeah, there's an exciting new passionate beginning, something you're passionate about, but you're already thinking about sneaking away from a situation because, look, at you want to communicate with this girl, this empress. Some of you are going to be focusing on your stability and security and communicating with this person with an open heart. Yeah, in the past, there was texting, talking, tweeting, emailing, communication with someone who was kind of sharp and intense with their words. And you're fearing you can't find stability this weekend. But look at this. An aha moment shows up on Saturday, the 4th of July, where you recognize something's moving forward more quickly than you had expected. That you are indeed creating a new chapter and are becoming your own business owner. You are opening your heart. To, to starting a new chapter in this new direction because you are recognizing and are having an aha moment regarding success. 
So Spirit has given you the strength this weekend, Gemini, to come out of a state of confusion and to focus on what it is you're giving birth to. Even if someone around you isn't being honest or they're being manipulative, this is about making your own wishes come true. Some of you are now able to leave a situation regarding a masculine air sign, Libra, Libra Aquarius, or Gemini tied to the past. And because you are letting go and are opening up to what can now be brought into your life, look at this. You may recognize around the weekend that something big is happening on the 16th, a wish is coming true on the 16th of July. And this is why Spirit's giving you a moment to slowly plan and manifest your wishes. They're watching the action steps you're taking day to day. They're listening to the prayers you are making day to day when it comes to what you are passionate about or who. Don't lose yourself in the maze energies by Sunday of which way do I go? Am I making a mistake? Reach out and look closer for someone wants to bring you kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, and invitations. You may be celebrating something and wanting to connect with someone regarding the fact that you found your four-leaf clover. Wow, Gemini. You found the blessed and lucky path that is going to bring you money. So spirit is helping to guide you regardless of the lies and deceit of anyone who's around you. This is you. This is your path. This is your journey, Gemini. You get to communicate with spirit, watch and obtain signs and synchronicities regarding a blessed and lucky path. Some of you want to go towards maybe a water sign this weekend. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio is a separate message. Be careful. Um, or there's fear there. Is that my person? Is that... I'm feeling more about money. Look at that. Whatever is burdening you, Spirit's saying by Sunday night after maybe you connect with family and friends, you free your, you explain that you are being freed from the burden of another or others and you are recognizing that your personal goals and intentions are becoming, are coming manifest in the physical world. So know that when this card shows up, Gemini... Spirit is watching and listening and are guiding you into the path of your highest best good. You may not be working with others. You may be connecting to new people because you're recognizing that direction and that it is a blessed and lucky direction. So wait patiently. Even if you're at a distance from another, you want to give them a rose. Now is the time to work on success, working with a building and organization, a more financial circumstance or situation. You can now eventually leave some home environment and travel back to a soulmate connection. Someone who feels like the right person in your life and you'll be contemplating devotion. So are you devoted to what you're working towards? Your wishes coming true? Are you devoted to this person? How can maybe the two of you move forward together at some point? Exciting messages are coming for you. Let them come in. Stay on this journey a little bit longer. If you have to go away from someone for a short moment of time, it is indeed time to head towards where Spirit's guiding you, where Spirit is helping to make your wishes come true. When it comes to your soul purpose and a new direction, divine timing is at work. It may not show up this weekend, but hang in there because it's on its way. Do not fear success, but enjoy the journey. Uh, into what it is you're hearing about. Some of you, you're hearing about money, money or money or a contract, something coming around the 17th of July of 2020. And that's making you feel successful, wanting to communicate maybe with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. I could go on and on. For some, if there's confusion regarding a Cancer sign, be careful what you wish for, right? We've got the Ten of Swords there with that wish. Research a situation. Give something some time. Holy mackerel. That's an interesting 4th of July reading. So to close, I'm going to bring in one card from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. 
Uh, should these messages have resonated for you, some of them, not all of them, and you have further questions, feel free to write me for a personal reading, which uh, can be done by emailing me at josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Now Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So closing message for this Gemini. Please, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels representing the weekend of the 4th of July. Five of emotions. Well, that fits perfectly. Will I have enough? Will I make enough? Will I heal? This card says forgiveness of maybe someone that you communicated with in the past who was an older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini like yourself, or forgiving yourself, I was just going to say that, and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life, so ask your angels or those you love to help you move through the process quickly so that you can get back into the path of joy right move through the process of getting clear with yourself about a new exciting journey ahead a passionate new journey or connection if there's confusion let go of anything that caused heartache in the past and give something some time something is going to work out in your favor and it's going to for some of you it's going to be a, a, a beautiful connection with another personally and then we have business, you guys researching the next chapter and growing into abundance, your own business owner, a contract, an aha moment, some form of communication that is going to guide you into this path of success. I can't wait to hear. Look at that. I didn't mean to look, but it was there. We have the six of abundance as well. Heaven, Gemini opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift, right? Aha moment. With the eight of spirit, uh, wands energies, accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. So if you've been borrowing, you will receive this beautiful abundance that spirit is pouring down upon you. Uh, some of you consider volunteering for a charitable organization if you receive a lot of money, and I think you guys will. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care, be safe, and God bless.